Hi everybody, we're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Today I wanna to show you uh, my dope metering setup in Cubase. Now metering is an important thing and the stock version of metering in Cubase isn't the greatest, but it's totally customizable. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's get right into Cubase now. And let's take a look at my mix console. This is the easiest way to demonstrate it. You see I'm talking and that is what we're metering. And I have metering set up. Now, typically in Cubase, metering is just a turquoise line. And then when it gets to the top, it clips out. Now here, I have it set up where blue is too cold, green is just right, yellow is getting a little too warm. And if you see red, it's time to turn down your input gain or reduce the gain here in the pre section of your mix console. So we can take a look at this in context of, let me just mute my input, of the project we're working with here, which is a track for my album called Fever Dreams and Fugue States. So if you notice, uh, most of the, even at this heavy part of the song, Most of my gain uh, is actually in the green section. It's not even in the yellow. And that is uh, to help you out with gain staging. And I've just set this up according to my taste. You can set it up according to your taste. But if you want to fix the meters, you'll have to go to File, Preferences, and then Metering, Appearance. And this is how I have mine uh, set up. So blue is too cold. And so when I'm input monitoring, I want my signal typically to be between negative 24 and negative 12. If I go over negative 12, I'm a little hot because in the context of a mix or even you know doing this voiceover, you can do whatever you want to in post if you have 12 decibels of headroom before you hit zero, which is clipping. So uh, as long as you keep it under 12, you can do a lot of stuff in post. Uh, but the thing is, if you're below 24, then you're actually boosting the signal too much and you're gonna introduce more noise. So what I have here is I've set up, you know, you can choose whatever colors you want. Uh, so I've set up blue here as my color and I had the cutoff here. I set up green as the color for good and I set it up at 12. And then I go from yellow to red when it gets close to zero, which is clipping, because you don't really want to clip. And uh, with digital recording, you know, as long as you're input monitoring and it's looking in the green like I showed you before, it should be okay. It should really, uh, you should be able to do whatever you want in the mix. You can leave headroom for mixing. You could leave headroom for compressing on the buses. So. So you see my three buses here, the drums, the guitars, and the bass, and I don't have it bust out to a final mix bus, but uh, I mean, my stereo out here, just to consider that the mix bus, you know, it's peaking at negative 8.9. That's nine dB of headroom that I have to add plugins, add compression, use makeup, add EQ, and it allows you when you record at levels that are in the green here, It allows you to EQ in stages and it allows you to compress in stages. And that is sort of one of the names of the game and mixing that they don't tell you about. Uh, that you could add, you know, some compression on the track itself. You could do parallel compression by duplicating the track or doing a pre fader send and compressing that track with an uncompressed version of the original track. You can bus everything to a group, like a drum group, a guitar group, or a bass group, and EQ and compress that further and sort of, uh, you know, use stages to build your overall mix to have everything come together to have it be balanced but in order to do that you're going to need to start with enough headroom and you're going to need to gain stage properly and the way that I make sure that I'm gain staging properly is I go to file preferences and I set up my metering where you know blue is too cold green is go yellow is a little slow down and red is too hot so that when I'm metering and we'll uh, look at my input metering again when I'm metering, uh, I, I take a look here from a distance and I can tell that I'm in the green so that my voiceover is going to sound nice and natural when I finally export it and I'll be able to maybe add a little bit of EQ and compression on it so that I sound smooth as silk. But at the end of the day, I know by virtue of being able to meter this way as opposed to the way that Cubase sets you up as default, 
you sort of have more control over where you're at visually at any point in time. So I hope this little tutorial has been helpful. If you liked it, feel free to like or subscribe and have a lovely day, everybody. Take care.